winner's row tonight. You each have your own colour. Who will be drawn first? Let's find out. It's blue, it's Louise. Come and make some money. My name's Louise Poole, I'm 31, I'm from Brighton, and I'm currently a hospital ward clerk, although I'd love to go back to school, so I'm here to win in it to win it for that reason. Last night I dreamt I won £40,000. Fingers crossed. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Come and sit down. Welcome to Winner's Row. Oh, goodness me. Well, you had a five-to-one chance of being the first one here in Winner's oh. Row, and you cracked it. Shocking. Isn't it fabulous? Yes. It Who is. did you bring with you for support tonight? I've got my gorgeous husband, John. Hi, John. <laughs> my a bit, equally a bit gorgeous. Camp, a bit well. Oh. <laughs> Hello, John. Hello. And who's that, who's that lovely lady with her? That's my equally gorgeous mum, Linda. Uh, really? <laughs> now, listen, you're here with a dream. Yes. How much money would you like to go home with tonight? Well, 25,000 would be fantastic. Anything upwards would be equally amazing. What, what would you do with 25 grand? Well, I'd like to go back to school. Um, I'd like to retrain. I'd like singing lessons. I'd like driving. I'd like self-improvement and maybe right. a car. And, well, now, hang on a minute. Driving lessons and a car. Do we not drive yet? No, no. Oh, really? So singing lessons, what yeah. sort of songs do you like to sing? Jazz, blues, that kind okay. of thing. Okay. Listen, I wish you luck. You know the Thank deal you. here. Every question I ask you is going to be worth £5,000. Yep. You need to stay in Winner's Row because mm -hmm. if you're still sitting here, when the klaxon goes, you have a crack at whatever's in that prize fund. Okay. Okay. Get a question wrong mm. and you go to the red, the red area. area. Okay, Louise, there are yeah. two ways out of there, back here in Winners Row or right back where you started. Okay. And that's on the turn of one question, but let's not even think about the red area. Mm. Okay, I wish you luck. For £5,000, let's have a look at your first question. A kimono is a loose-fitting ankle-length garment traditionally worn in which country? Is it Egypt, Brazil or Japan? I'm glad you started with one I think I know. Okay. <laughs> um, I think, well, I'm pretty certain that's what they wear in Japan because I asked John to bring me back one when he toured Japan. Okay. <laughs> and he didn't, so. I accept Japan is the answer. If you're right, we'll have five grand into the prize fund. Straight away, no messing. Is that the right answer? <laughs> yeah, I feel you that. You feel that. You feel that. Okay. Let's make it ten grand. Here's your second question. Which comedian was once a member of the folk music group named The Humble Bumps? Was it? Billy Connolly, Jack D, or Eddie Izzard? Oh, gosh. Um, Not like this one? No. Oh, um, I don't think it's Jack D. I can't see him being happy enough to get up on stage and play. OK. Eddie Izzard is a cross-dresser, so he's a multi-performer. I think that sounds like something Billy Connolly would have done. OK. I think. Um, Are you yes. saying you want yeah. me to take Billy Connolly Please. as your answer? Yeah. Okay. I'm looking for Billy Connolly. Yes, he's a wonderful performer. A wonderful performer. You like Billy Connolly? Yeah, me too. Uh, this would make it a hat trick. This would be three in a row and 15,000 in the prize fund. Here's your third question. What is the literal meaning of the Spanish word mañana? Is it yesterday, today, tomorrow? Mm. Not so keen. Mm. Maybe it means better things tomorrow, mañana. Tomorrow. Would you like me to take tomorrow as your answer? It's my guess. Is that what you want me to accept? Yes, please. Okay. Louise says tomorrow. If that is right, we'll have 15,000 in the prize fund and you're still here in Winners Row. Tomorrow. Is it the right answer? Here's your fourth question. This would make it, like I say, £20,000 in the prize fund. Here it is. The England cricketer Kevin Peterson was born in which country? Would it be New Zealand, South Africa, or Pakistan? Do I look like somebody that enjoys cricket? Well, I d you never know on this show. No, I suppose. Never know on this show. Um, Peterson. P I E. That sounds South African to me. It sounds like Afrikaans. Okay. It, well, it could be... I don't think it's Pakistan, anyway. Kevin. Right. Pakistan. I think it's South Africa. Um, or is it New Zealand? Oh, God. I'm going to go for South Africa. Would you like me to take that as your answer? Yeah. Okay. Louise says South Africa. If she is right, we'll have 20 grand in the prize fund. 
Is the answer South Africa? Here's another £5,000 question. Your fifth of the night, you've not put a foot wrong. Let's have a look at it. Who is a central character in Shakespeare's The Merry Wives of Windsor? This might be a bit better. Is it Falstaff, Prospero, or Shylock? Who is the central character in The Merry Wives of Windsor? I think it's Falstaff. I think it's Falstaff. Big, the big, fat, jolly character in The Merry Wives of Windsor. Would I you think. like me to take that as your answer? Yeah. Okay. Louise says Falstaff. If that is right, we'll have 25 grand in the prize fund. Is it right? I can't look. Yeah. Well Fantastic. Uh, Stu, how are you doing? Um, very lonely. I want to get over there and keep her company. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that shirt close up, quite frankly. <laughs> Make blame your deal. It's very nice. Uh, Ruth. Hello. How you doing? Outside, thank you. Move over, Louise. Yes. <laughs> Tom has been a worry all day long. Mm. Hello, Dale. Hello, Tom. You all right? Oh, well, yes, I'm it's fine. It's pants over here. It's pants over there, yeah. is it? <laughs> be quick, Louise, eh? <laughs> so you have to look at it like this. She may well be putting all the money in the prize fund for one of you to come across and take it. <laughs> Another five grand. Here it is. Which British actor plays the title role in the 2005 movie Batman Begins? Is it Ewan McGregor, Christian Bale, or Clive Owen? You know when you think you know something but you don't even know your own name because you're actually nervous? Um, <clears throat> I think, I think, I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's Christian Bale. I'm pretty certain it's Christian Bale as a Welsh actor. All right, I accept Christian Bale as the answer. If that is right, we'll have 30,000 in the prize fund. A fantastic start to the show. Is it Christian Bale? Yes! Well done. Well done. This would make it 35,000 mm. pounds. Here's your question. Captain Scott was best known for exploring which part of the world? Is it Antarctica, the Far East, or South America? Um. I think, I think, my gut is saying Antarctica, but I can't remember why. Um, so go ahead and play Antarctica. You want me to take Antarctica as yes. the answer? Okay. Yes. Is the answer Antarctica? Yes! This would make it 40 grand. This would also be your eighth correct answer in a row if you give me the right answer. Let's have a look at it. The White Cliffs of Dover are a feature of which English county? Is it Cornwall, Hampshire, or Kent? Not Hampshire. Hampshire isn't on the coast, I think. Um. I wish I lived in one of those counties, and I'd know. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I think, I think it's Kent. Would you like me to take Kent as your answer? This is mad. Yes, please. Okay. Louise says Kent. If that is right, there'll be £40,000 in the prize fund. Is the answer Kent? Yes! forty. <laughs> okay, you're doing good. This will be your ninth question. Oh. Here it is. The satirical 1961 novel, Catch-22, was the work of which author? You're smiling at me. You know this one? Is it Joseph Heller, Bill Bryson, or Mark Twain? It's 100% Joseph Heller. It's definitely Joseph Heller. Bill Bryson writes travel books. Mark Twain was dead before then, is American. Um, it's Joseph Heller. Okay. Shall I take Heller as the answer? Yes, please. Is that the right answer? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You were going off, off. You had enough. Squeeze over. Have you had enough? <laughs> yeah, I can see. This doesn't happen very often. If I, I don't remember if it's ever happened that we've got to the tenth question. Oh my god. With a chance of getting fifty grand all on your own from coming straight out of the waiting area. Here is your next question. Oh. In which year did the swimmer Sharon Davis win an Olympic silver medal? 
was it? 1980, 1984, or 1988? Oh, I'm trying to think, because she's a presenter now, how old she is. That would be logical, I think. She's mid-40s, so 80's probably too far back. Oh, gosh. I think it's 1984. Would you like me to take oh, 1984 as your answer? Please. Louise Sorry. says 1984. If that is right, oh. we will have £50,000 in the prize fund. And you're still here in Winners Row. Is it 1984? I can't remember. Well, you know, I guess if you knew, you knew. I was thinking either 84 or 80. Yeah. I don't know. Please, Louise, make your way to Red. Okay. Now, here's the thing, Louise. Mm -hmm. This would be awful. You have put 60 grand in. It would be terrible if you didn't go home with a cheque as well, darling. You've put most of the cash in. You've had two trips to the red area. You've had a bit of a roller coaster ride tonight. But you find yourself in Winners Row at the most important time. Question separating you from £28,333. If you are ready, we'll do your last question. Ready? Okay. Here's your question. Godo is a play by which writer? Is it Samuel Beckett, Osborne, or Coward? Samuel Beckett. Samuel Beckett. Take Samuel Beckett as the answer. <laughs> I accept Samuel Beckett. If that is indeed right, along with Stu and Anna, you are also going home with a cheque tonight for £28,333. <sighs> is that the right answer? We have a good result. We have a great result. And you know what? You can relax now. I shall be back with your checks very shortly. <laughs> what a fabulous night on In It To Win It. You know, I love giving all that cash away. I shall return with your checks very shortly. But now it's your chance to win a fortune. It's the Saturday Night Lotto and Lotto Extra Draws.